Hello. In today's video, we're going to talk specifically about what it means when you get a trademark. What does that give you? My name is Jubin with Dana Legal Services. And one thing I want to explain to everyone is when you get a trademark, so you file for a trademark registration, it's called a trademark application. You specifically pick a mark that you want as your branding, and then you file the application and then the trademark office examines it. And if they agree that you can have it as a mark, they allow it. However, what does that get you? So once you get that mark protected, is that mark good for anything and everything? The answer is no. That mark is only good for the goods or services you identified in the application when you filed it. So if I'm going to use the word jump for socks and t-shirts and hats, and the trademark office agrees that that's a unique mark and I can have it, and they allow me to register the word jump for those goods, socks, t-shirts, hats, then I'm protected in that. However, if you want to use that mark for, I don't know, camping gear, anything you want to make up that's different from the clothing line, you want to use it for camping gear, you don't have protection of that mark for camping gear. So you've got to go file for trademark protection of the word jump for camping gear. Can somebody else go out there and file for the mark jump on camping gear? As long as it doesn't conflict with your mark, which is goods and services we're looking at. Camping gear is not the same type of good as hats and t-shirts, although it could be argued that people who go camping wear hats, socks, and t-shirts. That's why I'm using this example. It is still distinguishable enough where someone won't confuse it to be the same goods. So they, they being the trademark office, is more likely to allow that registration or not. Let's also think a little bit about creating a mark that is used in conjunction with goods and services that you get registered. And at the same time, somebody files for that same mark in an entirely different goods or service category. Can both of those marks register at the same time? Can the trademark office approve both of those marks? The answer is yes, they could because the goods and services are not confusing or overlapping. The trademark office is very interested in allowing consumers to identify origin of goods. In other words, who came up with the good or service? Where did it come from? So it's quite possible that jump can be registered to one company for t-shirts, hats, and socks, and jump can be registered for, to a different company for camping gear or rubber tires. Uh, it, those are, again, two different categories. However, if that second company comes along and wants the word jump for shoes, it's possible that the trademark office will say, no, you can't have that registration because shoes are too close to socks, t-shirts, and hats. It's that simple. If you want your mark protected in different goods and categories, you need to file for trademark protection. I'm Jubin Dana with Dana Legal Services. Here's our contact info. If you have any other questions or you need some clarification, please reach out. We're happy to help you.